So let's continue on with our bow and arrow, or our hero's bow. We can now equip it to B because it's on our main item. Uh, again, makes the slingshot completely useless because it's just a stronger version of that, control-wise. Because our, um, I guess our, oh. Alright, these things. They shoot fire out of their, um, bodies. We've seen them before, so I don't really need to explain them, but when you run across this room, they become active. This is our real, the first time we were confronting them, and now we can actually kill them because we can shoot their red eye, and that's the first time I've realized that the fire doesn't actually come out of their eye. You know, you know why I thought their fire comes out of their eyes? I'll explain a long, long time from now, and I'm sure it'll be clear. Okay, just one more, and I always enjoy doing that. Okay, so now behind each of these is something. Some of them really don't have anything, but there's always something, like if it's just one heart or one rupee. Some of them have some pretty good stuff, and... I think two of them have something we need to get. Well, really only one of them has something we need to get, but the other is something we definitely want to get. All right, that one, as you can see, really didn't have anything. So what does this one have? This one has the thing we need to get. The, the thing we need to get. It's the third boss key fragment. Ah, oh, so you're here at last. You heard that you might pay a visit, far sight and all. That's a weird looking Goron. Okay, so now we have the big key. It's completely filled with all the shards. And he, what, is that really a Goron? It's like a monkey, really. He belongs in the last dungeon. All right, purple rupee in this room. And, oh yeah, we can't smash the pot, so we have to throw them. We can't use our sword in these rooms. Apparently it's too peaceful for swords. He really doesn't look like a Goron. We actually see him a lot more later. He d he actually comes back, along with some of the all the other elders. He also comes back. Uh, I think we, do we have to go in here, or is this just another room? I think it's just another room that doesn't need to be pulled back. Okay, nothing there, because those are the two ones at the entrance. Okay. Oh yeah, in here, enemy and um, heart. Two hearts. Guess I can get those. Mhm. Mm All right, what's behind this one? It is a really good item that we really want to get. The compass and. You should know what the compass does. We had one before. This is the one for this dungeon. It, again, reveals the location of... I don't think I mentioned this. The boss area. The boss en entrance. And of all the treasure chests. So, now we know where they are. Even though I think the rest of them are just rupees. And... A yellow rupee in here. Okay. And that's all of them, so now we can pull back <coughs> on this one and reveal the next area of the dungeon. So, we're almost done. We got a little bit more. I'd say one more episode's worth. This one being the last episode. Okay, this room. Uh, I have mixed feelings about this room. As you can see, there's a fire crocodile on the ceiling. Very hard to kill him. I have killed him before, but I don't think I'm going to do it this time. I just avoid him. And you can shoot down some of these uh, things on the ceiling right now with your bow and arrow. But they also want you to kill those things, but I'm going to save my arrows because you will find arrows in these barrels, but I prefer to just save them and only use them for when I have to. Although I think one of those is like 10 arrows. Okay, so we have two of these right here on this rock. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to jump over or hit their tails with my arrows, but I don't know if I'm even going to be able to kill them or kill myself. Okay, let's try that again. Um, okay, we did make it. Oh, yeah, I forgot those things fell. Okay, one more time we're going to try. Okay. 
Come on. I'm going to shoot these down just so I can jump right across. And I'm going to completely avoid these other fire crocodiles. I think there's one more. And I'm avoiding them completely. And ooh, arrows. And one more that I forgot about. Okay, so that's how you get across there. You really just have to avoid all the enemies completely. Shoot them down from the ceiling and then avoid the crocodiles. I don't even know what those things are. They're like burning little leeches, fire leeches. Okay, go over here, put on your iron boots, hit down on this switch, and you'll be sucked up to the ceiling again. Just like old episodes. Well, not old episodes, maybe episodes one before the last. And over here we have a fire crocodile that is kind of hard to hit because you can move so slowly. I think I'm just going to avoid it, although that probably won't work. Ooh, there it is. Uh, I don't know if it'll come after me. I don't want it to come after me. Uh, here I tried to actually go fight it, but really I find that that's impossible. Because I don't know if they, I have beaten it. I know I have beaten it in the past. I actually killed it upside down and it's fallen to the ground. I don't know how I did that. Maybe I stood on the ground and shot it at its tail. But you know, I, I didn't think of that this time. I don't know if that would work. Might work. Hmm. I really don't know. Okay, so I just avoided it. There's another of those diamonds in there. Drop down and go through the gate. And that one you shouldn't have any trouble getting through. Alright, now we're in this room, which is, I think, the same as that big uh, main room. Yeah, only we're higher up. So you really don't want to fall down or you have a long walk back. Okay, in here, purple rupee. Very good. <clears throat> My voice is not sounding great. It's kind of early in the morning that I'm recording this. I don't know why I record such so early in the morning. I just do. Maybe because I know I won't want to later in the day. I always prefer to in the morning. What is that thing I'm holding? Is that my sword? That is my sword. Okay, I think we want to drop down there, yeah. And... Hey, we're back at this place. Do we want to be back at this place? Yeah, actually we do. We do want to be back at this place, so... Take back what I said about dropping down will be a pain because we actually do want to drop down here and go back into this room also added plus about our bow and arrow oh there's like a new enemy now in here now that we kill the others so we can kill that with our arrows I think arrows usually kill arrows will kill an enemy in one hit if you hit it in its heart just shoot the diamond a couple times and it'll turn yellow also, something we can, a new added bonus of the bow and arrow, back in this room, we can just kill these things, and go right past, and we don't even have to do all that other stuff we did to climb up. So they're really showing how the bow and arrow is useful. And it is. It's one of the most used weapons, it's probably the most used dungeon weapon you'll get other than your sword, which is not a dungeon weapon, it's just a weapon weapon. Of the dungeon weapons, it's either it's probably the first or the second most used. Okay, we have some ogres on cliffs that'll fire arrows at you, so let's try to kill them all. It's definitely the second, definitely the first or second. And I'll tell you what I think this uh, first or second other one might be. when we get there, which is not for a long time, because this is a very long game, and it could be like 60 episodes, it might be probably going to be more than 60 episodes in total, so I'm aiming to finish this project by, I don't know, maybe, uh, it depends, because it depends if I bring my Wii with me when I go away in August. I'm going to have a lot of time coming up, because I got three more days of school, then I'll have the rest of June and then July 
And depending on whether I bring my Wii when I come away with August, then I'll have all of August. Or maybe not. I don't know. I never have before, but I'm thinking of doing it this year. So, pull that away, and that'll reveal a secret passage. So, if I do um, go away, if I do bring it with me in August, ooh, they'll fire at that ex those barrels, that'll explode. Then I'll, I'm going to aim to have this finished by the beginning of September. I could even do it sooner, because I am uploading one episode a day, just because I have the time right now. You know, I don't really have any more work with three days left. And this is like one of the first weekends I don't have homework to do, or anything, or studying, or something. So, we can go over there now, now that we have those rotating magnets. And another door, or drawbridge, I guess. Is it a drawbridge? Yeah, that we can cut down. So, put your iron boots on right here, and just wait. And when I played this my first time, I always had people firing at me while I was up on this thing because I didn't kill all the archers. I didn't know you could. And now that I do know that, I think it's really awesome. And where is it? Here it is. So let's cut it down. And now we can just drop down. Onto the bridge. Wait, why am I over here? What? Didn't I, wasn't I just over there? Did it like bring me back during the cutscene? Maybe that's what, I think that's what happened. During the cutscene, it continues to move. But, I don't even see that. Okay, so now we can drop down over there. Just take off your iron boots. And this is... Let's see, this is the last room of the game. Or the last room of this of the game, of this dungeon. The last room of the game. I'll tell you when we get to the last room of the game. It's a very nice room, I'll tell you that. Very, very nice room. No, I'm, I'm not kidding, it's a really nice room. It's got a lot of really good stuff in it. But I'm giving away something... Well, not giving away, but... I'm talking about stuff that's not going to happen till. Hopefully, beginning of September. <laughs> okay, I think there are ogres you can kill from up here, but you might not be able to get a good view of them. But you do you want to kill as many as possible? Okay, that didn't work, because they will fire at you while you run down. See, there's one. I want to kill that one. I think I did get him. Yeah, got him. Yep. And there's one there we want to kill. Although that one's just on the ground, so I could probably just kill it with my sword. There's another. There's a couple more. But I'm just going to go ahead pretty soon, because those are, those are ones on the ground, and those I can kill with my sword, as opposed to the other ones I can only kill with my arrow. So, <clears throat> let's just go down here. Come on, come on, die. I want to kill them all quickly, because they will fire at you with their flaming arrows. Why couldn't we get flaming arrows? I'm gonna push you into the lava. Yeah, you died in the lava. Actually, you died before you hit the lava. Well, I'm gonna kill you quickly, because you're gonna cause trouble while I'm trying to chop down this big gate. And there are there hearts in here? Nope, just arrows. Although, we need arrows for this upcoming boss fight. As you may have guessed, arrows are pretty important. You always need the weapon that you attain in the dungeon f obtain. <laughs> and look at that massive herd of ogres that we are going to massively manslaughter right now. Actually, that would qualify as manslaughter because we're not. We didn't plan to kill them. They just came rushing at us and we had to kill them. So here we are at the boss area, and next time we will be going into the big door to fight the boss. And it's a cool one. Not a very hard one. None of these bosses are very hard, but very, very cool. And I'm still looking for a fairy, and I don't think I actually ever found the fairy, even though I know there is one, because there's one for every boss. So, goodbye.